So hello everyone, my name is Michael and I'm one of the co-founders and the CTO of Vault Storage. And when we started in 2015, we had the goal to produce the most environmental friendly and the lowest cost batteries just using abundant materials to make renewables available 24-7 for everyone. So with that, you can't use lithium-ion batteries, but we delivered anyways. So that is why we introduced the world's first and only vanadium redox flow battery that can fit in every home that has a solar panel on the roof. To, to get all this technology in that small form factor, we had to develop the technology from the ground up. Um, we did some patenting on the way, but in the end, we reached a battery that is inherently safer than lithium-ion batteries, has no conflict or rare earth materials, has a much higher lifetime, and we can offer the cheapest all-in-one storage solution on the residential market. And by the way, we are the only alternative to lithium-ion batteries on the home battery market. How do we pull it off? Well, basically, we invented a new uh, cell design, a proprietary cell design and a production technique, and that allows us to produce the cell stack fully automated and with zero maintenance. And with that, we ended up building our own automated production unit. It's one of only the handful of production units in Europe actually producing battery cells. But in the end, we do produce products. So that is why we, we started our series production earlier this year, and currently we're ramping up our global supply chain with the help of our staff in China. We also just recently released our newest version of our app. So Volt Storage customers can see what uh, their storage is doing, what their household is consuming at any given point, and also how much CO2 they saved. And more functionality is coming soon in the direction of Smart Grid. And speaking of customers, they are happy with their vault storage. So far, we have sold close to 100 systems. We have an order book of over 500,000 euros, and we have hundreds of registered interests. We also built up a partner network with installers in Germany and Austria to install and sell those batteries to end customers. And we're expanding that um, installer network in the next years into other regions and countries as well. So far, so good. But I'm also here today to talk to you about the developments that we are doing to bring this technology a step further. So what we, what we will do is we're also going into larger systems uh, for, for businesses, for commercial applications and industrial applications. But the more important thing is that we are developing a new battery chemistry, and it's called the Iron Redox Flow Battery. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, and what's the cool thing about it? Well, iron is the most abundant material on Earth. Like, 32% of the Earth's mass is iron. So you can get it everywhere, and it's super cheap. And for the first time, we can produce batteries that are 100% made in Europe. And it comes with all the advantages that redox flow batteries have. And thanks to our development in the last two, three years, we are able to bring this very quickly into serious production because we have all the parts there um, that we develop and we can use with the new chemistry. But I think the most compelling reason is how cheap it actually is. So we are planning on deploying 50 kilowatt hour units that are fully scalable to gigawatt hours, basically. And when you look at the levelized cost of storage, so the cost to store one kilowatt hour of energy into a battery and taking it out again, you see where we're going. Um, you can compare it to existing storage technologies and, and it'll be cheaper than, than existing pumped hydro or the, the biggest battery in the world in South Australia by Tesla. And with storage costs of less than five cents per kilowatt hour, this would be also viable for utilities and grid operators to regularly store renewable energies to use them later. And that's a huge thing. But I guess some of you might say now, well, like lithium-ion batteries, they get cheaper. Well, what are you going to do against it? So I'm going to end my presentation in giving you a number and that is 50 euros per kilowatt hour. That is our target cost for battery packs with the iron redox flow battery technology. Um, that's, that's for me so far. Um, we're doing uh, fundraising at the moment, so we're looking to close our Series B investment round in the third quarter of this year, and we still have an open spot for investors. So if you're interested um, about this, I'm around, talk to me, and I hope to see everybody in the barbecue tonight, if that's still a thing with the rain, I don't know. Thank you very much.